Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be filming a purchaser pass video. Um, I know this is again, it's a little bit different for my channel, but it's still focusing on makeup. It's really, really hot in my house right now. So if I start sweating, that's why. <laughs> But this is going to be a purchaser pass video and I've seen a lot of YouTubers that I like do this video. So I know that Samantha March does one of these videos every Wednesday and Andrea Montiliano also does these videos. Just kind of put, going to put my own spin on this. I am going to be looking at the Trend Mood page. That's where a lot of the new beauty releases are posted to. So I am going to be using that where I'm getting all these pictures from. And I'll also post them on the screen as well. So if you would like to see what I am interested in and what I'm not interested in, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, I am going to put a little bit of a spin on this video because I am not wanting to spend a lot of money right now on makeup because we are trying to buy a house. I'm going to be talking about these products as if I'm interested or if I'm not interested in them. So most of these things I'm not going to be purchasing. I haven't purchased makeup in a while except for like essentials and then like the ColourPop foundation which I tested last week. But anyway, I'm going to just kind of say whether I'm interested in them or if I'm not interested in them and I will tell you for sure if I do plan on purchasing anything. The first product I'm going to be looking at here was one that was actually announced today and it is from ColourPop and it is their Fresh and freckled pen so I think that's what it's going to be called it's going to be eight dollars they have two shades soft brown and dark brown so right now if you're following the beauty community a lot of people are into faux freckles um, especially for summertime but I know a lot of people do them year-round if you're like me I have a lot of freckles anyway I do tend to cover them up with foundation I'm wearing a very full coverage foundation today I'm wearing the pure cosmetics form one foundation today so you probably can't see a lot of my freckles but a lot of the time especially in the summer I do wear lighter coverage foundations and you can see my freckles come through but I know that people who want to have more freckles on their face they love doing faux freckles so this is a really neat item you know I know a lot of people do um do faux freckles with like eyebrow pencils or like the Urban Decay brow blade that has like a pin on it um, but this kind of looks like it has a bigger tip on it um, so you could probably make them different sizes if you wanted to or different shapes you know kind of like normal freckles but I'm interested in this but also I'm not just simply because I do have a lot of freckles anyway and I know a lot of people would probably really enjoy this so the next things are the dose of colors these are two new eyeshadow palettes that they have these are the smoky soiree and the cutting edge palettes so they look absolutely beautiful and um, these are a little bit different for dose of colors because most of these palettes that are five pans that they have are only matte. One of them, the Smoky Soiree palette, has like a burgundy and a really dark deep brown and a black and then two shimmers that are on a taupe side and then the other one is kind of like a champagne color. So it's more cool tone but I think these both are so beautiful. Um, the other one's kind of like an olive kind of toned palette and they're just so, so pretty. I really love Dose of Colors um, as a brand. I love their lip glosses and I also love their foundation. It's really, really good as well. I'm not sure how much these are going to be uh, retailing for, but I think if they're like the other ones, they'll probably be around somewhere around $30. But these will be available on July 17th at 10 a.m. on Dose of Colors website. So another thing that was released today is a Sephora favorite set. This is a lip set. So it looks like that you get a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy that's full size, a NARS Afterglow Lip Balm, which is also something that I mentioned in my $1,000 Sephora Fantasy Cart. I'll link it up in the eye and down below. And then you get, that one is full size if I didn't say that, you get the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original Lip Gloss, a Patrick Ta Lip Shine, and a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper. This is all like sheer kind of lipsticks and lip glosses. It's mainly lip glosses. So so I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Fussy. I do have the full size of that one, but everything else on this list I have not tried. And all of that will, is going to retail for $29. And I think that's an awesome price because just the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm it itself is like $26, I think. So if you can get all of this for $29, that is an awesome set. And I really am interested in this and I may end up actually picking this up. I'm not sure yet. I really don't need any more lip products and I do have the Fenty Gloss Balm. So it just depends on if I really think that I would use these other products. I've heard some pretty rough things about the Too Faced Lip Injection. Um, which it kind of scares me because people say it burns their lips really, really bad. And I'm just not into that. 
it's just kind of got some pros and some cons and I just have to weigh it out but I think the price is really good for what you get. GVS Place just came out with a nude collection. Everything for the lips. They're going to have nude velvety matte lipsticks for $14 each. They're going to have mauves, chocolates, and peaches. That's like the shades of them. Um, the shade of the shades of nude so if you know what kind of undertone you like then you would kind of go by that We're also going to have lux lip liners lip glosses and i think that's it so the lipsticks are going to retail for 14 dollars. the lip liners are 10 dollars, and the lip glosses are 13 dollars. so i think this collection is really really pretty i love anything nude i love nude lipsticks nude lip glosses nude lip liners whatever is nude i like it so I really love the packaging of these as well. The pink tube with the gold. I think it's just so pretty. And Juvia's Place's prices are always usually pretty decent. The lip glosses look like they would be very pigmented. The ones that have like a color to them look like they'd be very pigmented. I really like that they're coming out with something like this to cater a lot to a lot of different skin tones. I think it looks really interesting, but I really I don't know if I would purchase anything from this because like I said, I don't really need a whole lot of new lip products. Um, I have my favorite lip liners and don't really need any more nude lip glosses. And I'm not the biggest fan of matte lipsticks. So I think that would probably be a pass for me, but I am interested in this collection as a whole just because I do like nude lip sets. So another thing that I see on here is that Fenty Beauty is coming out with their new skincare line. So this is going to be called Fenty Skin. If you don't know Fenty Beauty, their founder is Rihanna. They're going to have a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer. Everything will be available on July 31st at Fenty Skin and Sephora. I kind of get scared when bigger brands that just focus on makeup come out with skincare because a lot of times you know they're just focused on makeup so I'm not sure how much they really know about skincare but I could be wrong I've also heard a lot of people say the same thing but I do love a lot of Fenty products I'm just not really interested in trying any kind of new skincare right now I have kind of what I like down so I mean, I usually don't spend a whole bunch of money on skincare anyway. This does look like some people would really enjoy it, but I don't need anything new right now in terms of skincare. So the next thing I want to talk about is from Jouer Cosmetics, and this is the Champagne and Macaroons collection. It looks so, so pretty. What you get in here, um, they have a face palette for $34 each. They have, it looks like they have two different shades, and then there's an Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm in the shade Shimmering Champagne which is it just looks like a sheer kind of lipstick that's kind of like a gloss I'm not really sure I can't I don't I can't really tell but it looks like it's just a sheer lip balm with some glitter in it which is not interesting to me at all I, I don't like that look on me then you have a shimmering lip gloss in pearl and it's $17 and then a sheer pigment lip gloss two shades in parisine I'm not sure if I am saying that right and the shade feminist so it looks like these are available now. The face palettes look so beautiful. I love Jouer's face palettes and I am really drawn to their packaging. I think their marketing and their packaging is just fantastic. It really draws me in. It's very feminine and girly and I think that all the packaging is really, really pretty. And I also love their blush formulas and their highlight formulas. I just don't need any new face palettes for, especially for $34, but these look really, really pretty. Okay, so the next thing I see here is something from Becca Cosmetics. This is their No Pigment Virtual Foundation. So I don't really understand this line. They also have a No Pigment Highlighter for the face and the lips. So like I said, I don't really understand what their concept is behind this. Uh, no pigment foundation just sounds like a primer to me. And I actually heard Andrea Montiliano talk about this product and say the same thing. It really does not make a lot of sense to me. It honestly just looks like a primer that is probably going to be expensive if I had to guess. It's silicone free and with glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and it's supposed to instantly hydrate parched pores. And it looks like it's going to control oils and help perfect the skin with a transparent matte finish. So it just sounds like a blurring mattifying primer and there's tons of those, especially at the drugstore. Now the, the no pigment highlighter for your face and lips, I don't, I'm still not really interested in it. It sounds like a lip gloss and maybe just a wet looking highlighter um, if you're into that. 
I just, I don't really understand what they're trying to do with this. I really would have thought that they would just probably call this a primer and a lip gloss. So definitely not interested in this and I don't really understand the concept of it. The next thing on my list is the new collaboration with Pure Cosmetics and Raw Beauty Christie. So if you've watched me for long enough, you know that I have mentioned Raw Beauty Christie on my channel multiple times. I absolutely love her. She is having the best year ever. I feel like a lot of us are having a really crappy year just because of everything going on. But Christy is killing it, y'all. So she announced that she's pregnant after 15 years of infertility. She bought a house and is remodeling a house. She uh, just hit a million subscribers and now she's going to have a collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. And I think it's absolutely stunning. I am very interested in this collection just because it's Christy and I like Pure Cosmetics as a brand. The only thing that draws me away from this collection is the eyeshadow palette is double sided and one side has very, very colorful shadows and I just don't wear colorful shadows. So I feel like I would only get use out of one side of the palette. I just think that this collection is really beautiful. It comes with two pair of lashes. I don't wear lashes on a normal basis. I wish, honestly, that they would have just come out with two separate palettes, the neutral one and the more colorful one, because I definitely would have been more interested in the more neutral one by itself. But this collaboration is so pretty. I love the concept of it, um, having a neutral and a more colorful for those people that want to wear that or are, are more interested in that. I do love that concept, but for the average person, I wish that they would have been separated. But it looks like this palette retails for $34, which is not a bad price because you do get 18 shadows and it is double-sided. It looks really, really pretty. It was available on July the 12th and they sold out. Christy broke the internet. Pure Cosmetics site was down most of, most all day. They did sell out and they are supposed to restock and I'm so happy for Christy that she was able to collaborate with them. Like I said, I'm interested but not as much as I thought I was going to be because of the other side of the palette. Okay, one thing I want to mention is the YouTuber Jackie Ina. She is coming out with a brand. Um, it's going to be called Forever Mood. I'm not sure what she's going to put out, but I know Jackie really goes into depth with her makeup reviews. So I'm happy that she is coming out with something. I'm not sure when this is going to be coming out. I don't know if it's going to be makeup or if it could be fashion or something like that. All I know is that she's coming out with a brand. So it looks like Pat McGrath is coming out with a new mascara. So this is going to be their Dark Star Mascara. It's actually available now. It's supposed to intensely volumize, lift, and give length to your lashes with maximum impact and control. It retails for $30, which I think is so outrageous for a mascara, especially when you can buy really good mascaras at the drugstore. I am not interested in this. I know a lot of people like Pat McGrath and they try to collect everything that she has, but I'm just not interested. So I see on here that Gucci makeup actually came out with new bronzers. They're going to be sold at Sephora. They're available now. They retail for $50 and the shade range is tragic <laughs> to say the least. There's not a lot of deep shades and actually some of the bronzers on here look like they would be too light for me which is really stretching it because I am so fair but $50 is outrageous for a bronzer especially when it's this small I mean the compact looks really really tiny the packaging of course is beautiful the embossing on the um, product is really really pretty as well but $50 is just kind of ridiculous for a bronzer especially when the butter bronzer is sold by Physicians Formula and it's around $10. Yeah, not interested in that one and really wish that they would work on their shade range. I have two more things to talk about and one of them is drugstore and one of them is high end. So I'm gonna start with the drugstore one. This is the Gold Mirage um, eyeshadow collection from L'Oreal. I guess it's not an eyeshadow collection. It's just the Paris Gold Mirage collection. So this looks like they're gonna have shimmering eyeshadows and crushed quartz lip glosses. So it looks like these shimmering eyeshadows are going to retail for $13 a piece, which is insane for drugstore or high-end. That's crazy. Um, and it looks like they're only gonna have maybe four colors, I think. It looks like they're supposed to be velvet powder, sheer, and ultra glimmer shine. When a eyeshadow says it's gonna be sheer, I can already tell you I'm not gonna like it but also for the fact that it's going to be $12 or $13 a piece, it's crazy. You can buy a lot of higher end shadows for less than that. Makeup Geek shadows are like 
maybe eight dollars a pan and they're a higher end brand so i'm just i just don't see myself paying 13 dollars for an eyeshadow same thing with the lip glosses i just i don't care for the shades of them they just don't look appealing to me um, just because they look like they're going to be very pigmented and thick. Not interested in this one. I um, really think it's actually overpriced. So the last one I want to talk about is the new Tatcha Rice Wash. It's the original cleansing ritual apparently in Japan. So it says for centuries Japanese women have rinsed the delicate grains of rice in preparation for cooking and have repurposed the leftover milky water within their beauty rituals. So it looks like it's got a vital source of vitamins A, B12, B2, and E, and as well as moisturizing proteins that soften and boost the luminosity of hair and skin. So I'm not sure if you can use this on your hair and your skin. Maybe so, since it says that. But it looks like it's just a wash, and it's gonna retail for $35 for four ounces. And it also says it's going to be in the Trend Mood box. It looks like it'll be available August 3rd online Tasha and Sephora. This sounds really neat to me, but I have my cleanser that I like from Pixie Beauty, which is the Glow Mud, I think it's what it's called, Glow Mud, Glowy Mud Cleanser, something like that. And I just don't really pay full high-end prices for skincare products, but this does look really, really neat. Like I said in the past, I do like Tasha skincare, so, so this is probably a really good product, but it's just not something that I'm interested in paying $35 for. So that is all the products that I am going to be mentioning today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.